<laughs> what is it? Nothing. Okay. Nothing. <laughs> you you said you would dismantle uh, these people. You said you would dismantle his fish. Uh, who is that? Does it look like you are dismantling them or them dismantling you? Now? First of all, before I start to insult all of them, mm, I want to excuse Onana. One, excuse Ahmad. The remaining others, mm, they are a bunch of morons. You have a new manager in the team. You cannot go out there and impress him. That is just, it's just stupid, honestly, it's stupid. Ipswich is a good team to go and play on the, the debut of your new manager. Why go there and then get embarrassed? It's, it's an embarrassed showing, honestly. It, we, we, we made a mess of the ent entire showings. Do, see, do you know that mm, at some point mm, in that game, it was Amorim that was telling the players to introduce intensity. It, it, it's shameful. 2024, professionals, you, don't, you want your manager to be introducing you to the energy you need to play? It's bullshit, see. If switch reduce source to a Southampton's level today, honestly, even Southampton scored two. Exactly, exactly. It's it's embarrassing the way we play. It's embarrassing the way we play. And honestly, I don't know what happened with Tamorim. I don't know, but today was a very stupid experiment from him. Yes, you cannot tell me that okay because today is your first game and then you're doing nonsense experiment. No, you're going away from home. Get people to 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 tell you what to do. Get information and get advice. You're going away from home. You're going to hip switch and then you're playing three at the back for for what? Play the team that we know how to play. Start from there. Why start with three at the back? The goal only came out of out of before because Ipswich didn't even just come into the game at the beginning. Yes, they were done. And kudos to Ahmad. Like I said, except for him and Onana, every other person was just stupid on that. Play. Very stupid. Your midfield was porous today. Extremely porous. My midfield was not porous. My team was porous. Every single one of them was porous. Yes, this is Ipswich for God's sake. Ipswich is where you should be getting your three points. Whether Amorim is there, Amorim is not there. Didn't uh, Mr. Roy do it? it come on. Imagine Zigzi coming in, your manager tells you, go in there, I want the energy around the, the, the third half of the pitch of the opponent, and then you go in there, you're running like, like an idiot, running like chicken. No, it's bullshit. See, today, mm, looking at that game, if you want to analyze that game, eh, the chances came. Yes, Ganacho ran one-on-one -on -one with uh, once, uh, uh, Ipswich CB twice. He created nothing out of it. It is bullshit. There was a chance Bruno gave to him again to, to, to shoot. He shot wide. These are chances you, you should score to press the opponent back. This is um, Amorim's first game. Anyway, whatever it is he wants to do, there's no time. We don't have time. He either, he either starts and gets it right or we fire him. Yes. You fire him. This is the first game. Who fucking cares? Who fucking cares? Look at our slots. I thought first game he started to win and then today look at what he did with Southampton. We don't have all day, man. We don't have all day. And Rashford today was stupidly lazy today. Well, if Amorim wants to fire himself, let him start that lot and, and Rashford again. You know that these are sorts of satans. You are, you are playing them in your team. Yes. You're looking at people that, 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 that was introduced to the team by devil himself, and then you are, you are, you are playing them. Dallas cannot contribute anything. He's not our standard. Rashford is finished at the top, and then you're, you're putting Rashford. Imagine, Rashford played close to 67, 70 minutes today. You can't press the opposition, opposition defense. The opposition defense had every right and, uh, to be coming into the midfield. Do you know how shameful that is? It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. All of them, nine of them were, were, were irritating me for the entire time. And secondly, let, let's talk about Casemiro, how he played today with couple with Ericsson today. The tempo is against them. That's what I, I, I see. The, the tempo is against their age. Yes. And for what they even did on that pitch. They tried. Because you look at young stars like um, Rashford, like um, uh, uh, Ganacho, that should be pressing more. They are not doing anything. They are not doing anything. Yes. The goal they scored came out of Dallas lack structure behavior. You're complacent. You saw Oche with the ball. You left him with enough space to go and shoot. Why not shoot him? Why not go out there and push him or hit him or get the ball from him? Every kick would be better. Yes. It's just, it's just bullshit. It's, it's. I don't know what to say again, but uh, I think, I think Manchester United is lagging, is lagging, is going. It's see, going. the quality, the quality of the players is not what is lacking. The quality is there. You can see, we can pass, we can roll with the ball, we can do everything. What is lacking is intensity, the hunger to always be with the ball. When you're not with the ball, you should always want to go and get the ball. Why are you allowing your opponent to play? Why are you giving them the comfort to come into your your, your third hand and play? It's, it's, it's just nonsense. We are too big for this, the, the way we play. We are too big. This is Manchester United. When are we going to stop doing all this nonsense? This is a new manager. This is a new era. We should be going to Ipswich and giving them six or seven. And then they went there to, to make Ipswich play 90 minutes of quality football. Take on and out of that post and we will we'll leave that place with three goals. Yeah, important, important save. Those, 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 were, those were ridiculous save. Terrific save. Save that you, you honestly, there was a goal that Dela should have scored. Honestly. The way Onana made, yes, the one that made himself big. To, to save that ball was just out of this world. And then the flick again from uh, Delap. If Onana didn't position himself properly, that would have been a go again. So it's just stupid. And, and, and it's not like we created those type of chances. You're not creating chances, you're conceding chances. It's bullshit. It's bullshit. We are not ready. Now, Amorim needs to understand that from the get-go, you need to what? Stem these players. Yes, cut them. 
There's no time for you to be to, to, to be marinating them and petting them and saying after all of them work came to show me that to say talk training session. Is this what the, the expression from that nonsense training session? You 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 go to show me that talk training session as, as though you were going to come into the game and, and prove it. And they traveled. Imagine, see honestly, honestly. Yes, okay, I will go out of this match. We say this is somebody's first game. You get it, and then he's starting to know what type of players that we have and how they can play. But honestly, he should know already that there are players in that team that if not for the fact that injuries, they are not supposed to be there. Number one, Rashford. Number two, Dalot. Ever since in that team, putting more effort than Dalot. That's shameful, man. It's shameful. It's shameful. Do you know the entire time? Hmm? If switch attack to that Dalot's flank. Why? Because they know he's vulnerable. He's vulnerable. How can you, as a Manchester United, eh, as big as you are, have a vulnerable uh, position in the team? It's not, it's not, it's not, it doesn't make any sense. We should build from the defense. The defense is the one that will give you the titles. So why would your defense even have a vulnerable angle? It doesn't make any sense. Well, well, I don't think I don't think this team can move forward, and I don't know whether it's because of the the three five two one formation today whether three five two whether four four two whether four three three the desire to be with the ball at all times should be there these tactics are just there to show your your positions it, your desire should come first how you want to play and the desire you want to play with is the same thing they have to go hand in hand you cannot say okay because i'm playing 43 so i'm on the flank i'm not going to track back no you have to make it work if the manager has given you three five two then make it work make it work we're not making it work and I'm pretty sure that when I saw Amorim shaking, shaking his head, I knew very well that he was not impressed. Yes, and even myself, honestly, the entire time I didn't enjoy the game. I, like, if switch were more, were more physical, they wanted it more. The intent was there. The you know they they, they wanted it go. They knew that they could beat us, and they play as though they wanted to win. And Delap didn't allow you guys centre backs to rest. See, Delap, Delap, that boy, that boy is one for the future. Like, see, that boy is top top. He's top top. The way he pinned back the lead didn't make Evans comfortable. Drawing fast from all of my defense. That boy is top top, honestly. You could see that when he was leaving, he got a rousing applause. So, that boy is top top. If if Rashford has given Manchester United 50% of that boy's performance, we, we may probably would have gone out, gone out of that game with the win. So, do you, do you think, moving forward, they, they, they should overhaul all the players in that, right now in Manchester United? It's not about overhauling. Make an example of two of three. Sell the fuck out of them. Yes. Make who an and who? Sell Dallas, sell Rashford. Make everybody know they are not comfortable. Yes. Do that. Do what Ateta did. Sell the Obama Youngs. Sell the Lacazette. And let the others that are coming in know very well that your place is tempera. You're only as good as your game. If you're not good again, bye-bye. Man. Yes. They are too comfortable. Rashford feels like Manchester United is heat. Bruno thinks so. Every of them thinks so. And then they go onto the pitch and then they start to play like that. Nobody should be impressed. See, Manchester United is soldier go, soldier come, Barak remain. You are, you, are, you are playing today, tomorrow you will not be there. So, if you say that you can do it or you can't do it, Manchester United does not have to die because you're there now. And I think most of the fans were like, well, what do we expect? These same players, this same character, everything is same. Amory should change it. Ineos should work with him to change it. The mentality of this players needs to change. This is Manchester United, who should be competing with the likes of Real Madrid, not doing nonsense, nonsense football with a Eve switch. So right. whatever. All right. Any, Hopefully in the next game, I want to see them changing the way they play and changing the tempo. All right. Any final thought of the no game? final thought? I just want to see what I'm, Amorim is going to bring to the next game, and then from there we'll know what to do. And you want him to stop this experiment of a team? No, the experiment has to stop because you need to understand the quality of the players you have before you start to inject them into your formation. You get it? Play with the one they are comfortable with first, and then see who is no, who is lacking behind. They can they can go back and say okay because you play three five two three we are not comfortable. So play the four three three that we know, and then see how it goes. And one thing, one more thing, I found out that each and every one of your player loses ball very lose this possession every time yes because the desire to keep it is not there they, they cannot chase it they cannot keep it that's what we need to address we are too lazy too lazy too lazy lazy fools anyway that's all all right thank you